So it depends on the level of man. You know what I mean? You got people that are looking for a place to stay. So you have those two. And if we're talking about those men, we're, you know, then those are two different conversations. So but yeah, would, those men exist. We can't we can't not talk about those men because they're true, here. True, true. And they they exist large. I think what Isha was saying before, there's more of those than there are men that are successful in the black community. Right? Yeah, you got facts. more men looking for a place to stay than they are looking to to take care of you. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. In I our think, community, in, I think, in, I, I, yeah, no, I wouldn't quick. say more. Men. I wouldn't say more. Well, it's a high. It's equal. What, uh, what, oh. what Gilly? What Gilly called them? Homeless sexuals. Homosexuals. <laughs> Homeless sexuals. Um. Wait. You saying? Wait, wait, what you said? You said men. There's more men out here looking to stay with women. Not than more women. men. There's we we know statistically oh. there's just not enough black men uh, to match up with every black woman. You yeah, said that was your stats. Yeah, I there, are, there are more black women than there are black men. Right, yeah. so there's yeah. more black there's more black women than there is black men. Then you got to take out the men that are in jail. You got to take out the men that aren't educated. You got to take out. So there's a lot of take. There's a lot of. The Why do you have to take out the men who aren't educated? Yeah, when you're or the men that um aren't uh high income earners. Why you have Why? to take them out? Why? They're not capable of being good husbands because they're not oh, high income earners. Black oh. men make more than black they women. Care of <laughs> if they can't take care of themselves, you got to be able to take care of yourself before you try oh, to take no. care of anybody else. I don't. You got to. You don't. Earner can't take care of himself. So, yeah. do you feel? All right. So, you, so there was a conversation where. Do you? Th how many men do you know that have lived on their own first before moving in with a woman? More so than there is that women live on their own. Does that make sense? No. So you mean like without a roommate or something? Without a roommate, without moving directly in with a spouse or a partner. How many men have moved uh, out on their many, own? There's a lot of men. I don't, I don't that know. I don't know how to qualify. I don't know how to qualify that, but I I don't know. I don't understand what's your point. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. What's point the, what, is what point? That women, Go ahead. What you're saying is that there's there's this heap of men that are out here just doing the right thing, and that's not necessarily true. But the women aren't doing shit though, right? See, because 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 the government comes and they think they moved out, but really that's Section Eight. That's a whole bunch of programs that so you think get women. Every, all women are on Section Eight. Well, no. Here's what I'm saying: When you see them, those those men moving in with those women, them women didn't do that shit on their own either. Father government stepped in on a lot of that. So you project thinking housing that, and all that. So I'm talking. I'm not talking about people that are in the projects. Just regular women that work. God damn! All right, can we put some concrete around this goalpost? Okay, so so if we're talking about regular women that work, regular women that work, if, if your point is who moves in by themselves first, that's a man. Because a regular woman who works doesn't make that much money when she's 22, 23 years old. Yeah. Yeah, because women... <laughs> Even if she's educated, she get her degree, she's going to Chase grad school. She don't make the same amount of money as a man does either. Mm -mm. So, yes, a man does live, is more independent and lives on his own more often than not than a woman does hmm. if because especially if you want to eliminate the hood well yeah we're taking like public assistance out right he's really not close if you take public assistance out so you think that they're you're you're saying that men are more independent than women initially yes yeah men get out the house faster not even close <laughs> yeah and they're getting their own apartment or are they moving in with someone else? <laughs> I, I, because we're talking about, remember, we're talking about that um, successful woman. Right. So are we comparing her to the successful man? No. To oh, the average man. What are, we, what are we doing then? We're comparing her to the average man because to, remember, look, there's look not as many success, successful black, we're talking about black us, right? Mm-hmm. There's not a, a a high number of successful black men, huh? Well, compared well, to women. Come on, come on, what the shit. fuck? I'm not not get a, available okay. black men. Available. Well, okay, black sing, men. single, oh successful okay, single okay. black men. Available black men. <laughs> let me let me just give you a quick. I let me give you some. Let me give you a quick so stat. Maybe we need to define the term successful. Yeah. Well, and let me give I'm you some stats. Available stat. though, single. Let me let me give you some stats real quick, right? Because I know you're talking about everybody in jail and shit, right? There's 2 million people in jail or prison, right? In the whole country, it's 2 million people. 
There's 19 million black men. Okay, so cut the jail notion out. We're not getting jailed at the same rates as we were 15, 20 years ago. Right. We are more educated than we, than we were 15, 20 years ago. So black men are going up. Our trajectory is up. It's not down like people try to keep painting that picture. We it's also so make more money than black women. Now, it's 38000 for black women, 43000 for black men. So huge gap? No, gap nonetheless. So I don't know where you guys are getting this information, but y'all got to stop watching these shows, man. That's why I hate Insecure. <laughs> That's why I say they need to be available black men. Well, see, what, what what does that mean, available? Like, Single. if for, I, I'm going to say this. Like, if there's a successful, what I guess we would largely consider a successful black man, is he in the same circles looking for the woman who isn't successful? They're not in the same yeah. circles. They're is not. This, so he may not be visible. He may not be. Is the success to tie to money? Right. That's what I'm saying. Like, let's define what, what we yes, are. We black. Yes. We're Yes. Yes. What okay. are we defining successful as? Money. That's what we, we Okay, black. but what's, what's money? Because successful <laughs> to one individual financially may be different to another person. Right. Because for some people, broke. as long as they can pay their bills... And as long as they can pay their bills and provide food on their table, to them that could be a success. Mm -hmm. Okay. So individualized. So, so, so what we, are we, we defining successful as? So ten percent of men, ten percent of men, make I think the number is one twelve, right? One hundred and twelve G's, right? That's ten percent of all men, right? Ten percent is a low number, right? So would that be deemed successful, or is that even? higher than like successful because the average income for black men is 43k so if a man's making 75 i would think he's doing successful. pretty well he's successful right yeah. so let's say 70 grand is successful six if the 43 if you're making seventeen thousand more dollars than the average man that's that's successful right if you're making 60 grand not in the context of our conversation. No. <laughs> the context of our conversation is successful as you in the six figures, right? Am I, am I mistaken to think no, that? No, because that number is too low. It's only 10% of people, men. So no, that's like but that, nobody. But, but, that's, but these are the untouchable men to a lot of women. I don't That's why they, that's why they, that's why they just, seem to every, be available. It's not hard to, I don't understand. Maybe it's just because you guys are looking at it at a larger scale and I'm just looking at it in my circle, but I'm like, that six figures is just. That's what people make. No, they don't. Also, no, they don't. You have to look outside <laughs> of yourself. I'm like, I don't know. That's like, so no. I live in the DMV area. I think some of us do here. I mean, someone making 75000 that's normal, right? That's normal. That's whatever. And for, to some people, and there's a lot of people here who make more than six figures, so $75,000 could be on the lower spectrum. And then I can go to another state or some other area, and $75,000 is a lot to other individuals. So I really think it just depends on our circles, and I think it's where right. we are. For me, successful, you know, it's different to someone else. To me, as long as you can pay your bills mm -hmm. on time and in full and that you're not struggling, you have your roof over your head, to me, you're successful. But it's very different to everyone else. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Also, 100K is not – it's not – I mean, it's just not normal, right? Or else it wouldn't only be 10%. The normal for men, black men, is $43,000. Because there's more Amazon guys that drive those trucks than it is CEOs and so on and so forth. There's more garbage men. There's more UPS. There's more FedEx drivers. I mean, those jobs are in abundance. But see, so, but so I think when we're talking about 100000 you could be a garbage man and make $100,000. What? How much garbage are you taking out? Yeah, I mean, you own the company. You own the garbage company. You own the garbage company. Ain't no garbage man making a hundred. What's the average salary of men? You don't think that police officers are making a hundred grand? That no. Yeah, yeah, no, they are. They are. They, they, they are. Police officers are making. Police officers are making a hundred thousand, but they're killing themselves with overtime. Yeah. But it's still being made. They're working 60, yeah. 75 hours a week to make a hundred thousand dollars. Also, they're no. not making they 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 they're 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 making 50, 50 in DC, they're making 60 grand, right? Do the math on the on the 20 hours of overtime. 
you even like the C, like my my brother's the CEO, man hours, right? They ain't making a hundred thousand though, because the rate the rate's just not there. But also, if the, the police officer that's making a hundred is out because he's sixty five years old, that's so he's not even eligible. That's not true. See, because that is simply not true. You saying a nigga? See, I, you I, don't. I'm gonna DM y'all some pay stubs. I review income all day and I review tax returns all day, so I know what people make. Yeah, people killing. Talking. See, that ain't that ain't making a hundred thousand though. You yeah. still make sixty, and then you had to work wow overtime. You You're not a hundred thousand dollar nigga. You're not the ten percent. We talking a motherfucker that that can stay hey, sleep, that 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 got unlimited PTO and make money, and he don't have to punch a clock. Those are the niggas that's successful because if that if that police officer get hit with a honey bun and now he get on desk duty, he ain't gonna make that hundred thousand next year. We talking about your salary is up there, not that you killing yourself and you you made ninety nine thousand dollars and you want to have a party. Hell no, nah, you don't got no time. Yeah, I know. I know. Hard to come back from that. I know. I see your face. I'm just saying, I just. I just. I'm just thinking about what people make in in my job in my area, which is finance is different. And you're not talking. There's no overtime. And but that's pay, your like, job. Eighty thousand dollars. So it's hard for me to. Look, 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 look. Now, now everybody's saying that garbage man. No, no, hey, Salva. Put him in a fucking bed. Get him out. Depends on where you live. Garage, man. It depends on where you live. That's a huge. That's a huge factor. And I think we we yeah. have to think outside of where we live. And I say that again, just living where I live now. Like it just depends on the area that you live. Like you also have to put in cost of living. That makes a difference. So you can make a hundred thousand dollars, but if that like out here, like a one bedroom is legit like two thousand dollars, like two thousand dollars a month, and you're literally getting like a, like a closet. There, there's no space. There's no space. So how much do you really get to take home after you've paid that high ass rent? It's not much. It's not much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, nah, definitely. But motherfucking overtime and you making a hundred thousand. I just don't. That ain't the same thing. <laughs> All right. If you make two hundred thousand dollars, it's been the same. However, it go. Nah, because you got to have much time to spend it. If I'm getting out of work and it's always dark, everything <laughs> closed. If you on three day and four days, I mean. 18 hour shifts? Yeah. You got two days off and then you, it, it happens. Poop, come on, baby boy. Like, not. come on. Like, that's, t- you don't have any time. Like, that's that not a not, real 100,000. That's not true. I'm going to hit y'all with the facts later on. <laughs> All right, don't yeah, tell Roger just just bleep his name out. Roger John, whoever the fuck. Um, so I get it. Yeah, the money still comes in, but they're not uh they're not a high earner. They they earn that through a bunch of extra work and shit, right? But high <laughs> earners wake up and make the bread. Right, Adrian? Yeah, I'm with you, yo. Because I work like crazy, so it don't even feel like it's is that much. So it's definitely a different when you work in like, regardless of if you're working for yourself or what, you work in, you know, 30 to 40 hours versus you work in 60 hours just, just to do it. It's a complete, complete yeah. difference. Yeah. Now, Don, you know, shout out to the hustle, right? We're not yeah. counting the hustle, but... Of course, of course. You know, um, it's, it's just not the same, you know? So, <laughs> listen, man. Hey, peace out.